just shove you off? Well, that sure didn't exactly work in your favor. What do you mean it didn't work in my favor? This worked exactly in my favor. This is exactly what I wanted. Hey guys, welcome to Don't Hide. They recently had an update. Apparently, like, there are actual endings in the game now, which don't just end in the forest. So, hey, let's get right into it, shall we? This game contains content might be disturbing or triggering to some audiences. Like... Oh, what's the triggering content? Th 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 this is the triggering content, like, you're welcome, by the way. Oh, God. You can't believe it. You're outside. You made it. You have tears of joy in your eyes. When was the last time you breathed fresh air? You don't even remember how long he locked you in that damn house. But right now, you don't care. You're outside. That's what matters. You can feel the wind and the cold on your skin. You are so happy. You feel like you're dreaming. You are finally free. Oh, wait. Hold on. Don't scream victory too soon. It's possible, even certain, that he already knows that you have escaped. Besides, you're still in the middle of nowhere. You're tired. You're cold. You're vulnerable and clearly not at your best. If he catches you, it's over. And knowing how careful he is, you'll never have the chance to escape again. Focus. You don't have much time. You hear noises in the distance. It's him. He knows. I will look around. There's not much to look at. You're in a fairly dense forest. You have no idea how many kilometers you have to travel to get out of here. Behind you is the dwelling where he kept you. The moon gives you a little bit of light. It's still dark though. And chilly. You are not dressed to fight the winter cold. At least it's not raining. You don't have time to examine anything else. The noises come closer to you. Uh, turn around. You know he's right behind you. But decide you'd rather gather your courage and face him. You're pretty sure you couldn't be able to fight him, but hey, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Ah! It's funny how all determination can fly away the second you meet your kidnapper's gaze. God damn it. You take what little courage you have left to not tremble in front of him. There you are. Yeah, you just want to disappear. I finally found you. You're reassured. He doesn't seem angry. Annoyed, yes, but not angry. You swallow anyway. You don't know what's going to happen next. The fact that it does nothing does not reassure you. I... I'm sorry? Huh. I won't do it again. Yeah, I mean, I'll never run away again. I swear. Are you sure about that? You don't answer and he sighs. Even if he's not angry, you can tell he's upset. So... Why did you do that? What? Isn't it obvious? You didn't expect to explain that. You seek after your words. You have no nose! Where did your nose go? Why? Well, don't you think this question's a bit weird? Who would like to be locked up and held prisoner? Staying in place against their will with someone who scares them, no less. Did I scare you? Yeah, of course. You are dumbfounded. There's no way he's serious, right? I can't believe he looks so pained when the victim here is you! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. How? You literally kidnapped me! You don't know what to say. He tilts his head to the side. I swear, I would never hurt you. Uh... Never hurt you? Well, yeah. It's true, he never harmed you. Oddly enough, especially in that kind of situation, the worst thing he ever did to you was, well, kidnap you. The realization makes you shiver. He could have done anything to you. You guess you could have run into a much worse captor, that's for sure. But you're still a captive and you ain't happy about it. You can't believe you're gonna say that, but thank you for being nice to me. I'm grateful to you. I mean, if I already told you, I don't want to stay here. He's fidgeting. He doesn't like where this conversation is going. You must stay with me. I'm not asking you to understand. Just, please, you have to trust me. For now, we have to get back home. Please, now. I will bargain? Okay, you'll have to negotiate. Let's see if your plan's gonna work. You say I want to be happy, right? I want to leave, but you refuse to let me go. How can I be happy if you keep me somewhere I don't want to be? He's silent for a few seconds. I'll never leave you. 
I know. That's why I have an idea that might work out for the both of us. If he's honestly telling the truth, and the only thing he really wants is you and only you, he couldn't deny your proposal. Come with me. What? I can't stay here. You will do what it takes to return to civilization. The priority is to escape from this forest. And if for that you have to invite him to where you live, so be it. Let's leave this place and come with me. What exactly do you mean by that? It means what it means. I will welcome you to my home. We will live in my apartment and, well, and we'll stay together. I promise. Isn't that what you wanted? Yeah. You already regret your decision. So, uh, what do you think? Does that suit you? Yeah, I mean, do you want it? You sure? Yeah, as long as you manage to get out of here. Yeah. Is it you, or? He looks way too happy about your new agreement. Come on, it's not like you asked for his hand or anything. Well, yes, you offered him to live with you, which probably doesn't defer much in his mind, you suppose. Great. You feel awkward now. But if he thinks... Ah, oh, give me a break! <laughs> oh my god, you freaking goofy little thing. Well, I can't call you little. You realize with bitterness that if you had followed your plans till the end, you would have been screwed. He drove through the forest for more than three hours, and it's only now that you see the first signs of civilization. Suffice it to say that without a vehicle, you would have been lost. Not to mention the fact that it would have taken you days before you could see the end of those woods. You stop looking around. You prefer to rest. With everything that's happened, you barely slept and you could feel it. He didn't sleep either. Apparently, and unlike you, he doesn't seem to mind. You clear your throat. You're not tired? I'm okay. You didn't rest at all. You must be worn out. You look more exhausted than me. True. But seriously, you wonder how he does that. You have to say, he really does impress you. Since you've known him, you haven't noticed any weakness in him. No weakness, no sickness, no stress, nothing. And he barely sleeps, yet you often find him... You often see him doing his hard training. It must be due to his profession, no doubt about that. Every time you try to ask him more personal questions about him or his work, he dodges them. It's obvious that he's hiding things from you. You're pretty sure he's not just a bodyguard. Are you telling me that there's more to this guy? Like, okay, how many jobs does this guy have? Like, are you telling me that he's a bodyguard? He's a waiter? Uh, like, he, he runs a pizza plex or something like that? What, 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 what else is this man? Is he a head man or something? You shouldn't think too much about it. It doesn't concern you anyway. And if he doesn't want to tell you, you don't insist. Also, developer, who are you to tell me not to think about it? I will think about it. The less you know, the better. You notice that the road you're on has become less rocky. You have just left the beam track to make way for the city's roads. You finally open your eyes. The sun rises and a new day begins. To see the light of day is comforting. You don't remember the last time you saw a sunrise. You can't believe you would feel so nostalgic seeing something so mundane. Damn, how long do you keep you locked up in that room? You can't wait to go home. You miss your boring life. You miss your boring hobbies. Heck, even miss your boring job. You miss everything normal. And... Wait! Yeah! Flashing lights! You try not to jolt from your seat. You were so deep in your thought that you didn't even notice there was a police car. Just right in front of you. You can't believe your eyes. How lucky! You feel like you just got an adrenaline rush. You have to do something, right? Uh, Quick save. Uh, let's get the policeman's attention no matter what. How are you gonna do it? You don't know! If you don't come down, he'll notice your agitation. Unless he's already noticed it. He knows that you're going to try something? It won't surprise you. He always knows everything anyway. You don't have the guts to look at him. Nope, there's no way you're gonna check if he's watching you. No, 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 no! It's now or never! If you do nothing, it'll be too late. Do something stupid and dangerous. YOLO! You grab the steering wheel and turn it as hard as you can. So yeah, it's your plan. Causing your own accident. <laughs> what a way to attract attention. <laughs> you drift off the road and crash into a tree. A tree, again. <laughs> You're tired of trees. The impact is more violent than you had expected. 
You didn't quite understand what had happened, but you think you just went through a bumper. You see the sky? Yeah, so you land on your back. You are on the concrete. It must have fractured something because you can't move. Yeah, it looks like you're paralyzed, you guess. You hear screams all around you, but they seem muffled. You feel like your head is underwater. You try to look around you. You move your head. It's the only part of your body in can motion. You can see the road, but there's red everywhere. You look at your body, and there's red everywhere too. Your blood runs cold. Or rather, the little blood you have left runs cold. Your head is spinning. You're gonna die. Heck, you're really gonna die. You're not sure, but you think you hear someone calling you. You have to concentrate to understand what's going on. You feel something running down your face. You like to wipe your head, but again, you can't move. You hear someone call you again. This time, you manage to recognize his voice. He kneels beside you and raises your head. He puts something soft under your neck. It relieves your head. As you focus a little more on him, you notice that he has blood on his hands. Probably yours. Thank... Thank you. You know I tried to... The accident. Near... Police. Damn. Breathing is very difficult. Something pierced your lungs or what? I did it on purpose. Take the wheel. I... It almost takes all your energy just to state the obvious. I know. Of course he knows. So why are you still trying to help me? Shut up. The, amb the ambulance is arriving. The ambulance? If you survive the accident, you will never survive the ambulance, Bill. <laughs> Ugh. It's bad blood. You're going to die if this continues. There's no way you're surviving this. Your body is broken. Completely. Is it gonna put me back together? You don't feel the pain, but you are extremely tired. You try to gather the little strength you have left to look at him one last time. It looks like he's going to cry. It's the first time you've seen him like this. You feel bad. Really bad. You have to admit, you feel guilty. Your brain must be too broken to think that way. You don't know if you're rambling, but looks like it doesn't seem to have any scratches. Nothing. Nada. Can't be. You knew it. There's no way he's human. Or he wore his seatbelt. Like, the only reason why we would, like, fly out of our seats if, is if we didn't wear our goddamn seatbelt. Is this whole game just a PSA to wear your seatbelts when you're driving? Is that what this is? <laughs> Unless it was you who took all the shock from the accident. Well, if this is an instant karma, you don't know what is. Your eyelids are too heavy to keep them open. As you fall asleep, you, he snuggles you close to him. You appreciate the gesture, as strange as it may seem. You hear the ambulance siren coming. They desperately know there is nothing they can do for you. Don't worry. I'll keep you with me. Uh, how? Ending five. Blame it on the tree! <laughs> So we're just gonna go through some of the other endings. Uh, we're not gonna go through the endings which I've seen before. Uh, if you guys want to see that, uh, link to that playthrough is up here and in the description as well. Anyway, accept my fate. Meh. Nah. You don't expect anything anymore. You know that trying anything will put you in danger anyway. You decide to nicely go back to sleep. If he's not sleepy, you are. And if he ever needs directions, all he has to do is wake you up. You don't know if you slept for a long time, but you feel something gently touching your shoulder. We've arrived. You open your eyes, dazed. You notice that you are perked. Oh, parked. And just in front of your building. Yeah, you told him where you lived. But you never told him the exact address of your apartment or even your street. So, how? Eh, never mind. He probably stalked you or something. You are way past that anyway. You get out of the car and look around you. A familiar place. You are home now. You have a big smile on your face. You never expected to see this alley again. Even though you brought your captor with you, you can't help but think you made the right choice. You're not stuck in the goddamn woods anymore. You turn around to face him and you see that he's waiting for you in front of the door of your building. You don't need to show him the way to your place. You shouldn't be surprised that he knows exactly where you live. He knows everything about you after all. You note that the front door is already open. You find yourself in the hall. I guess I don't need to show you which floor I live on. You don't need to. But I still want you to go first. He wants to keep an eye on you. 
Just because he accepts your deal doesn't mean he trusts you. You silently climb the stairs to the floor of your apartment. At this hour, your neighbors must be at work. It's therefore unlikely you'll meet them. You wonder if they noticed your absence. You both arrive at your doorstep. Welcome to my, well, our home. You turn on the lights and head into your living room. He follows you closely. The bedroom is at the end of the corridor. The bathroom behind the door and the kitchen is on your left. You don't even know why explaining this to him. He already knows all that. And sorry for the mess. Didn't expect to have a roommate. This is more than just a bit of a mess. Like, holy frick. Like, this This looks like a this looks like a junk store, really. You have never been the most tidiest person around. Yeah, it's okay. Out of mind. He just looks at you and smiles. Huh. Well, I would have told you that if you wanted to put your things down, there's, there's space in my closet. But you didn't take anything with you. I have in pajamas. You're going to have to let him one. You stare at him for a moment. Not sure if he'll fit yours. If you need anything, ask me. And, well, make yourself at home. Thank you. Can I take a shower? Sure. You vaguely show him the way to the bathroom. Again, he probably already knows where it is. Just a few seconds later, you hear the water running. You look in your closet, take the largest fabric you have and put it on the bathroom doorstep. You know for a fact that it's too small for him, but too bad. It's better than nothing, right? Right. You drop on your sofa as if you had the weight of the world on your shoulders. You don't know what to do. You turn on the television. You used to watch TV all the time. Maybe this will give you a sense of normalcy. A sense of normalcy. What a joke. Your kidnapper is taking a shower in the next room and you're watching TV. Good lord! You're so tired. Maybe you should go to sleep. Yeah, good idea. You lazily reach your room. You don't change and let yourself fall in the bed. Wait a damn second. Hey! Oh, that's our end on the demo! Oh, fine. I, I know there's still a couple of endings to go here. Like, the, supposedly we get, like, sent into the cabin or something. So, what if I refuse here? You never feel at home at this place. It's not possible. You can't. I refuse. You step back. You don't know how he might react. Especially since he looks more and more agitated. Please, listen. I know you won't like what I'm about to say, but I want to go home. I mean, my home. You have to let me go. I'm begging you. It looks even more unstable now. You knew it. There's no way he could take it well. Arguing is useless with him. You should have run away and never looked back. I, uh... I promise I won't tell a soul about you. I just want to go back to my normal life. If you... You don't have time to finish your sentence that he rushes at you. Yeah! You nearly dodge him. And how fortunate. Otherwise, he would have tackled you. To your surprise, he doesn't try to charge you a second time. He just stares at you, staying in the same place. Damn, it's not good. You are in a state of complete panic now. You. He's shaking. Is he angry? You can't tell, but his calm voice contrasts with his restlessness. I don't understand. I gave you everything. And I will continue to give you everything you desire. All the things you want. All the things you need. I can give you a perfect life. No one else besides me would be able to do that for you. So, I'm just asking you one thing. I'm the one who implores you. Let's go home. His voice sounds weird. He's losing his composure, you guess. It's eerie, and you feel terribly uncomfortable. This whole situation is too much for you. I just want you to stay with me. I'll do anything for you. You want to tell him that the only thing you really want is your freedom. He's too desperate to comprehend that. You know he'll never stop trying to track you. It's a lost cause. I... Cry or fight? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm going to just ball my eyes out. Boo! Uh, that's enough. He can't take it anymore. It's more than you can handle. It's beyond your strength. You'll never be able to escape him. You don't even know why you're still trying. You're exhausted. You fall to your knees. Your mind is no longer clear. It's over. It's all over. You can't even pull yourself together anymore. 
You have never felt that hopeless. You sob. You feel miserable. And to think that not even two minutes ago you want to stand for yourself. It's pitifully sad. You overestimate yourself. To these thoughts, you sob again. He stares down at you. Everything is blurry, but you can still see him. He's heading in your direction. He slowly approaches you and puts one knee to the ground. Hey. His voice is surprisingly soft. He seems so gentle. You're tired. I know it's not easy for you. The whole situation is new to you. It's okay to feel down. You have to, you have to understand that I'm doing all of this for your sake. He places a comforting hand on your shoulder, and you just want to scream. You don't do anything anymore. You know, at this precise moment, they will never have the courage to try to run away again. You lost. Give us some time. You'll see. I'll take good care of you. He calmly grabs you by the shoulders and without any difficulty, puts you back on your own two feet. Your legs are just wobbling though. He notices and therefore decides to carry you. He doesn't seem at all bothered by your weight. It shows you once again the difference in strength there is between the two of you. So on second thought, throwing hands with him would have been hilarious. You know, I still want to see that again. I, I, I do want to see that again. You want to laugh. You want to be delirious. It's okay. It's a new life that's offered to us. You'll get used to it. I promise. Deep down, you really hope he's right. Ending three, you lose it. God damn it! So that's not how you get kidnapped again. What if I throw hands? What if I fight? I, I do want to see this again. Even if he can't get it, you can't give up your freedom. You could never do that. He gives you no choice. You have to fight him. You're not naive though. You have no chance of winning against him, especially in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But at least you'll see that you don't intend to make it easy for him. And if you have to fight till the very end, so be it. He'll eventually get tired or kill you in the end anyway. And you won't be suffocated because of a pseudo lovesick psychotic dude anymore. Maybe if you play your cards right. You try to hide your intentions while approaching him. You must take him by surprise. It's your only chance. Love? He distrusts you. I'm not surprised. It's obvious that you have an idea in mind. The more you advance, the more he retreats. What are you doing? His reaction. You never expected him to be so anxious. Let alone because of you. Funny how the tables have turned. Seeing him like this makes you feel somewhat powerful, if you dare say. The problem is that this turnaround gives you a bit too much confidence. Especially considering what you're about to do. Am I about to kiss him? Please tell me that I'm, I'm gonna kiss him with my lips. I mean, fight him with my lips. What? what? You jump on him. You don't think the first thing you do that comes to mind. You take the biggest impulse you are capable of and give him a right hook. What the? He grabs your wrist midair. All right, everything goes poorly. Moreover, it sure is anticlimactic. The worst is that you put all your strength into it, and he had absolutely no difficulty intercepting it. You don't know whether to laugh or cry. Besides, he too does not know how to react. He's too confused to retaliate. You take this opportunity to trip him up. Your leg throws him off balance. They both fell down to the ground. The ball's in your court. You have to try to handicap him. You use your body as dead weight on him and try to keep him from moving. You roll all over him. Now he can't move anymore. Bing- Oh? Did he just shove you off? Well... That sure didn't exactly work in your favor. What do you mean it didn't work in my favor? This worked exactly in my favor! This is exactly what I wanted! <laughs> Looks like you just forgot that you did, in fact, attack the strongest guy you've ever met in your life. Your fault for throwing hands with a bodyguard. Nah, look at you. He sighs and gets up. He reaches out his hand to help you. Thank you. As expected, the whole escape was a failure. You should have guessed that nothing would have gone as planned. But at least he still doesn't look mad at you. Farewell. Could be worse. Yeah. Could be worse. So. What was that? An almost successful escape attempt? Irony is your best friend when you have nothing left to lose. Heh. <laughs> Successful. You're sure you could have nearly frozen to death at some point. Even if you would have succeeded, I would have brought you back. You're not phased by what I said. I know. You know? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Suppose you managed to escape. It would have only been a matter of time before he finds you. Again. You're so reckless. I congratulate you for trying. That was kind of brave. 
But never do that again. You definitely won't try again. Look at how he handled your sorry but. I'll have to admit, I'm impressed that you thought you could beat me. I knew I had no chance against you. I was thinking maybe, just maybe. If you knew I desperately wanted to be free, maybe you would have let me go? He let out a laugh. It's surprising. It's unusual to hear him chuckle. Nah, impossible. I love you too much for that. Why? I never did anything for you to like me. I'll tell you later. But for now, we're going home. Okay. You would like to tell him that if he loved you so much, it would give your liberty back. But for now, you'd rather not confront him anymore. Especially if you're a weak body that doesn't have an ounce of strength. Besides, you thank your lucky stars that your jailer is not the type to have easy grudges. And uh, this is with these wives' thoughts that you return to your new home. You're not. What do you mean, or not? You pick up the conveniently placed branch. What conveniently placed branch? If you can't beat him fair, you might as well play it dirty. You're kind of ashamed, but, well, once again, you have no choice. Like many times at night, you don't think twice and attack him while his back is turned. And you aim for the head. Oh! No! Freaking way! He barely punched! More importantly, how is he still conscious? I didn't do anything to him! He struck him in the back of his skull, for God's sake! He walked slowly towards you. Can't be. At some point, he's gonna fall, right? What is he? Yeah, frick! I don't even have time to react. You can't even understand what's going on anymore. Is he carrying you? Oh no, he's taking him back to the house! I don't even know his name! Oof. Did you fall asleep? No. Your head is hurting. You feel so fuzzy. You guess you just got knocked out. If so, that would be normal to be off. You try to move. Okay. Impossible. You are attached. All your limbs are strained. But that headache doesn't help. Everything is throbbing. You can't think straight. Yeah. Big oof. I promise, I'll never hurt you. Ha! And the thing he had the nerve to say that. Even if we attacked him first, it was absolutely not deserved. At the very least, you should be glad he didn't kill you by now. You sigh. Everything still hurts. You slowly try to lift your head and open your eyes. Yeah? Oh, hi! This is a position. Man, I have a great view over here. <laughs> Well, you don't have to be a genius to guess that he's pissed off. Uh, no hard feelings? I mean, I knocked you out. Well, I tried. You knocked me out. We're even. You can't believe you have the audacity to joke. Wait, where did he take you, by the way? A cellar? You've never been here. Okay. I can understand if you're a little bit angry at me, but you seem, uh, seem all right. All right? Is your head okay? Cause mine's not, and eh, thanks for the headache, by the way. You could've hit me softer. What is this room anyway? Why did you bring me here? Uh, say something? Say something? Please say something. What, cold shoulder? You for real? Seriously? It's you who's- It's you're the one who's been given- I should be the one giving you the cold shoulder and not- Ah! Alright, alright. Calm down. Maybe. Wait a sec. You suddenly have a cold sweat. You can't move your legs. No way. What the? Oh! My feetsies! What have you done? Your ankles. You're gonna puke. Hey. They're sewn together. And your, sin, your skin seems to be melted in some places. They're glued together. They have bandages, too. You'd have to gut to ask him why he bandaged it. You look away. Impossible for you to watch your limbs bruise like this. You close your eyes as hard as you can. You don't know if you want to scream or cry. Maybe you're already doing both. You can't tell. You want to pass out. You start shaking. You're in shock. This can't be real. What the hell is this nightmare? What is he done? What is he done? What is he done? Hear him get up and walk past you. He doesn't have time to go behind you. That you suddenly open your eyes and glare at him. 
If I wasn't tied up, I would have ripped your throat out with my teeth. I hate you. You'll pay for this. I'll assure you of that. You will hear from the HOA. <laughs> <laughs> He's out of your sight before he can finish your sentence. And the last thing you can feel before passing out is a sting on your neck. Being jolted awake is awful. But what's worse is that you remember everything. Your ankles are still numb. That's probably the only good thing about your situation. Speaking of ankles, you still don't dare to look at him. At least you don't feel anything. He's probably drugged you or something. You wonder if you would still be able to stand up. Probably not. You can't believe he mutilated you. The guy. He wants you to be dependent on him. At this thought, your hatred towards him grows. Even if your ankles don't hurt, your arms on the other hand. Being tied up for that long doesn't help. And as if that weren't enough, you need to go to the bathroom. It's great. You're living your best life now. You hear footsteps in the side hallway. Here he is. Yippee! He approaches you and examines your ankles. He helps with satisfaction and puts him down. Morning. How do you feel? You in pain? Numb? I have painkillers if you want. Uh, you lost me a good morning and screw you, by the way. I need to pee. Man, am I gonna pee in a bunker again? Is that, is that what's gonna happen? What is with all these kidnappers and me needing to pee in a bunker? For the love of God, like, can we have an original plot for once, okay? Like, a plot that doesn't require me to pee in a bunker. Please. You lost me at good morning and for frick you. I'll quick save and go with that. He sighs and leaves immediately. Maybe you should have told him that you needed a leak. Whatever. Decide to take a nap. Time will pass faster that way. And besides, I can always pee on the floor. Here we go again. You don't give him time to talk. I need pee. If he ever dares to give you a bucket, you'll have one more reason to slaughter him. Apparently, it's not something you thought about because he's starting to untie your ties. He takes you by the shoulder and makes you stand up. Oh. Oh, good. Your floors will be spared off my urine today, good sir. Well, now you know what it's like to stand with your ankles stitched. He notices your discomfort and decides to carry you. Which is nice, by the way, because you were indeed in your in the basement. You could have never climbed those stairs on in your state. Well, he takes you to the bathroom, you decide to talk to him. Why did you destroy my ankles? Why'd you do this to me? It couldn't have been avoided. That doesn't answer my question. You attacked me. So you wanted to punish me? No. What do you mean, no? You sewed me up and melted my ankles together. He stopped walking for a moment and seems pensive. To be honest, I wanted to cut them off, but I don't have the magic medical knowledge to perform such a surgery. Dude! You prefer not to add anything. I didn't do this to punish you. I want to make sure you couldn't run away anymore. However, if you still try, I'll just bring you back. I'll do it again, and again, and again. I guess now you'll have a little more trouble running away, won't you? He says that so calmly. He's awful. You have to admit, I thought you have attacked me a long time ago. Anyway, we've arrived. He drops you off in front of the toilet and stays with you inside. But dude, I need to pay! Like, what if it's not just a pee? What if, what if it's more than just a pee? What, what, if, like, do you, do you want to stand here in a stench? Like, even if, even if it wasn't a case, like, it will still smell, dude. You have not fed me water. Like, it's going to stink. What are you doing? Can I have some privacy? He looks at you blankly. No. Dude, I'm going to whist all over you. I swear to God. It's okay, just pretend he's not there. You didn't realize it earlier, but your arms, and not just your arms, but your hands too. You can't move them properly anymore. It's like they're anesthetized. An an anesthetized? Anesthetized. It's, it's, it's like they're numb. You don't know it's, if it's because of the drugs he gave you, or if it's because they've been tied up for too long, but your upper limbs don't listen to you anymore. Are you going to... You frowned. No way. You'll have to ask him for help. You try and move your arms without success. Okay. You raise your head to look at him. 
doesn't seem to have understood the situation because his look at you for raised eyebrow. What? Damn, that's humiliating. I can't move my arms. I can't, you know. He approaches you and leans you on the toilet seat. He gets on his knees and pulls your pants down. You sit and you can finally pee. You stare at your hands and pray to finish quickly. You've never put yourself in such an awkward situation in your entire life. Really? This isn't the most awkward thing I've done. You can't even look at him. This is the longest moment in your life. You keep looking down at your hands. You feel your cheeks burning as you finish. I, uh, I'm done. He picks you up and takes a piece of toilet paper. What the? You close your legs. You try to control your breathing. You don't want me to... to no! I mean, no. I'm okay. I don't mind. I'm okay! You're not okay at all. Dude, you're so embarrassed you just want to die. I can't believe he was about to do that. Yes, yeah, you wish. He shrugs casually and pulls your pants up. But in doing that, he goes against the abused skin of your ankle. You let out a yelp. Looks like the drugs of painkiller or whatever you're on won't work for long anymore. You're right. My legs. He whimpered. I'll try to be more careful. A small thank you is all he could whisper. I'm tired. He carries you to the bedroom. The bedroom? You're grateful he's not taking you back to the basement. He puts you on the bed, kisses you, and then is about to go to another room for you to rest. It always freaks you out when he acts this way. Even if he does nothing more than that, I, I guess I'll wiggle it into bed like the worm I am. No matter what he thinks. We're not lover. He had to say it. He stops and leans on the wall. It takes him a second to process his statement and nod slowly. Of course. How could I forget? He should sleep. He had a hard day. He takes one last look at your ankle before leaving. You lie down in bed and stay still for a while. Why don't I just wiggle back and like in a more comfortable position? You put yourself on your forearms and move your feet. It looks like you are regaining your mobility, which means you will soon feel pain. So is that what your life is about now? You'll depend on him for everything. You hide your face in your pillow. You laugh. You try to stifle them in your pillow. You have a hard time containing or giggling. Seriously, what a day. And you're so exhausted. You're about to fall asleep when the bedroom door opens. Well, looks like the day's not over yet. No sleep. My God, you were about to leave. Sure, whatever. I don't even care anymore. Anyway, you wouldn't even have the time to protest, protest as he's already in your bed. You, uh, you, I hope you won't take my blanket. He hugs you tight and nearly smothers you with his muscles. Oh, it's gonna be a long night. Ending eight. Time of your life. What do you mean there's eight endings? Anyway, that was Don't Hide. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to play this game for his own link, the game will be in the description below. Of course, I will be back once the full game has been released. I believe, like, the full game will continue off, like after like you bring him into your apartment so like we'll probably start off from there or like we might we might play from start all the way to like we get that ending and then like what are the alternate endings from there but anyway thank you all so much for watching i hope you all have a lovely rest of the day and as always i'll be seeing you in the next video this is lion signing off ciao